Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. That little triumph that I've done on the last one, as I said, a fantastic effect by Tom Matrich. Um, great way of doing a triumph. So easy and so convincing. All you need to do is get your packet, give it a little bend in the top to put a bow in it, break off um, just under a third of your packet, and put that face up on the bottom right now you should have a little natural break i've done mine a lot bigger so you can see it easier on screen you have a break at the back where the cards bow down and bow up you will ask your spectator to select the card by fanning through the packet you can only go through at most the top two thirds otherwise you run into trouble so they'll pick a card from there. If you go much further, you start getting into the face-up ones, which you don't want. Um, they're having a look at their card. And just as a convince said, just do a tap and cut. So you cut the top of the packet off, hold it into that hand, tap it with the bottom, put the bottom down, making sure, obviously, you don't spread it, and put the top back on the top. They're going to think you've just done a cut. They've looked at their card. You're going to take it back and like with the Marlowe's, Marlowe's tilt, you're just going to tap at the back just so a couple of cards pop out the front. And then you're just going to go bam out and put it right into your natural break. You can show them that it's going into the middle of the packet, but you can't show them the bottom because obviously you've got a face up, uh, face up cards down there and they shouldn't be. Should they know they should be facing down, same as that. So you can show it's going into the middle and as you push in just push it down to catch your thumb break above it turn it into your pinky break on the other side as you're cutting off small packets the more you do the better shows a lot of backs when you get to the break put it on the top again making sure it doesn't spread yeah their card is on top of all of them now, because of your little bend and your little bow, you'll be able to see that there's a little break down the side. And that's where you cut at. So you're cutting off all the face up cards. I said you're going to cut it into about three equal piles. That one is their card on top of all face up, and these are two normal. As I said in the performance, you can say about this is how you'd normally shuffle a packet face down into face down. The thing you shouldn't do, break the packet in half, put half down, is shuffle face up cards. If you didn't look at their card at the start, you could say, if you see your card, don't tell me. You know it's not there, you know it's there. You shuffle face up cards into a face down pack. My little lady escaping. Closed shuffle so they don't see them cards. So just angle the pack in a bit to yourself and get them close together. And finish with their card on the top. Be careful as you push these together because you don't want this pack splitting showing face up cards. So you close the pack together. Say something about you got face down cards and you've got facing up cards but you're not turning the packet over and leaving it turned over no just showing it and bringing it back to the way it was and then you'll spread that packet and again you could say see your card don't tell me you take these ones facing up and shuffle these in again a closed spread otherwise all they're going to see is facing up cards so closed Spread the closed shuffle again, leaving their card on the top. And again, be careful as you're closing because all the cards are facing up, they won't see no facing down. When you get to this point, all's done. All the packet is now facing up, their card is on the top facing down. Give the packet one cut, do whatever magic move, gesture, or saying you prefer spread them facing down show their card facing up 
spread them facing up, showing a face down card, whichever way you want to do it. There's a face down card in the middle. Or all the cards are going to be facing down apart from yours. Either way you want to finish, totally up to you. I say fantastic effect by Tom Matrix. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching, them that did. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.